Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Producer director Martin Scorsese is in financial trouble again, facing a past due notice from the IRS for $2.85 million in taxes. Now, keep in mind, he previously had to pay off $1.9 million overdue from 2002 to 2003. Martin, time to get a new accountant. Actor Al Pacino is also in the IRS doghouse, reportedly owing close to two hundred k in back taxes. What is with these people? I don't know. And they'll send them to jail. You just ask Wesley Snipes and the rest of them. When he gets out, yeah. Actress Gwyneth Paltrow was set to record her first album after inking a nine hundred thousand dollar recording contract with the Atlantic label. If retired California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to get back into acting, he can pick up right where he left off, as he's been offered roles in the remakes of Terminator, Predator, and The Running Man. Not the kindergarten cop, and no. Oh, no, no. no. Okay. And not the one with Danny DeVito, where they're, you know, play Jingle brother, all the way. Oh, no, brothers. yeah. yeah. Twins. Unconscionable is the word Charlie Sheen uses to describe being fired from Two and a Half Men. He also had some harsh words for his TV brother, John Cryer, saying he hasn't called. He says Cryer's a turncoat, a traitor, and a troll. Holland Taylor, who plays Sheen and Cryer's mother, says in her experience, Charlie was cordial and polite with all of his castmates and crew, sometimes even courtly and always witty. Former Allison Chains bassist Mike Starr has been found dead in his Salt Lake City home. Uh, police arrested him last month on suspicion of possession of medications without a required prescription. You also might remember him from the third season of VH1 Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew back in 2009. Phil Collins is clarifying statements made in the press about his retirement. He says he doesn't know why the interviews are surfacing because he hasn't done any interviews in months. Uh, FHM Magazine quoted Collins as saying it's a good time to stop because no one will miss him and he can't be in the same business as those in the MTV Music Awards. Collins says he's not stopping because he doesn't feel loved or doesn't fit in, but he's stopping so he can be a father to his two young sons. He acknowledges he said what he did, but with a smile on his face, which doesn't come across in print. He says he doesn't describe it as retirement, but just stopping. And Avril Lavigne believes it's okay to have product placement in her videos, especially if it's her products. In the video, what the hell? Uh, Lavigne enters a vintage clothing store that has a section for Abby Donner clothing line. At the beginning of the video, she sprays herself with one of her own perfumes. And you may not recognize the woman Lavigne says hello to as she enters the store. That's her mom. Lavigne's Goodbye Lullaby album is out this week. If you're celebrating a birthday today, you share this date with NHL commentator Harry Neal. He's 74 today. Good Morning America host Charlie Gibson is 68. And actor Emmanuel Lewis, played Webster, is 40 today. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.